Hello and welcome. Welcome to the channel. My name is Kuber. Do connect with us on social media platforms on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, of course, YouTube. And we are also there on TikTok. So do please join us on TikTok if at all you fancy that platform. National Post article quoted the minister as saying that C-19 system will only add to the current system and high scoring candidates in the current system will continue to be invited. Please comment. Well, thank you for bringing that. Uh, I had actually forgotten about that particular article in the National Post. However, uh, at this point of time, as I said, there is so much those small snippets, small articles that are floating around. We, we don't really know. They all have to come together. Now, keep in mind, let's say IRCC starts by saying, OK, C19 will not be the only system. We will do the current express entry draws and we will do C19. How many people can they bring into Canada in one year? Think about it. For this year, it's only 55,000 people. For next year, it's 75,000 people. For the year after that, it's about 110,000 people. It's not a lot, to be very honest, if you put everything into perspective. The year before, it was 110,000. Now, they will be doing 110,000 only in 2024. Okay, so just to give you a bit of a context and perspective. So in this situation, if they try to say, okay, half of this quota, let's say in 20, let's not even talk 2023, let's talk for the 2024. Let's say in 2024, where the quota is 110,000, they say, let's do 50% as per the bill C-19 and 50% as per the regular of this thing. So the remaining 50% is about 55,000 and 55,000 as per the C-19, which is quite a fair way of doing it. But what that will do is that will keep the express entry scores very, very high. Versus had they given all the 110,000 to express entry in the regular regular fashion and draws, the scores could come down. So even if they go with all, all program generic draws plus C-19 by category specific draws, even in that situation, people whose express entry scores are on the lower side, they will really face a problem in terms of uh, you know getting an invitation. At the end of the day, does this bill C-19, will the C-19 be basically something what IRCC is planning to do in terms of incorporating this new uh, advantage they want to give to the temporary foreign workers and international students? Quite possible. They could say, okay, we are making a category in the express entry for people who are international students or who are foreign workers in Canada, who have studied in Canada for the last, within the last three years. If their CRS score is so-and-so, we will give you an invitation. Okay, so now this is a permanent pathway. People know that if you come to Canada and you study, you work in Canada, you will have a way, you will have a permanent pathway to become permanent residents. And then the remaining portion of people will say, okay, generic draws. If your CRS score is high enough, you will get invitation. There are 215,000 people in the pool at this point of time. There you go. Look at the numbers. If they're going to do only 55,000 draws in a year and those numbers stay on the high end of things, the, you know, the scores are going to be very, very high. Take a normal profile, normal profile of an individual. For example, if you are, uh, let's say 29 years old or below, you have a master's degree, you have IELTS, CLB 10, not even CLB 9, CLB 10. You have three years work experience, generic draw. The maximum you can score is 481 without having a without having a sibling in Canada or past work, nothing, okay? You have no connection to Canada. You have a master's degree, age 29 and below, and uh, three years of work experience with CLB 10 English, unmarried, of course. 481 is the maximum you can score. Look at that, 481, okay? The people who are not able to score C, I mean, as it is scoring, the CLB 9 is so difficult. Imagine getting to CLB 10. And if the maximum is 481, then who are all these people with the scores of 481 plus? Okay? So these people with 481 plus who are sitting in the pool, 19,000 people, are Canadian experience class, people who have job offers, people who have siblings, people who have a PhD, uh, these are all those people. Or people who have Canadian education, Canadian work experience, these are all those people. Okay. In future, every single year, more and more and more people are also coming into Canada for uh, to study in Canada because they want to add points to their profile. What What's going to happen uh, with them? Uh, mind you, People could also be eligible in two different categories. So you could be an individual whose score is 500, plus you're also eligible under a category under C19 that they have now created for international students. You will take whatever draw comes for you right first. Because, but, but because you're there in two categories means you're also keeping the scores up for this category. So these, as this point of time, as I said, is something which we can all uh, debate about and, you know, uh, 
till the cows come home. But uh, we'll have to just wait and see how they go. National Post says something. CBC says something. House of Commons says something. The parliamentary meeting says something. Me says something. We, somebody else says something else. We can only speculate at this point of time. Until the actual announcements are made, we will only sort of hope and pray that something more reliable, something more suitable is made available so that everybody you know, has a fair shot at the process. Or if not a fair shot, at least everybody is made aware of what uh, they can expect. And therefore, then they will be able to plan and prepare themselves which way to move forward. I think that should be a better way to look at it. If you are not following us on Instagram, then please do follow us on Instagram. That is a fun place to be, as I keep saying. And please, absolutely, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There is a link there. Hit on that link and you'll be subscribed. Also smash the bell notification or a bell icon so you get notified when we upload any new videos. Uh, that's all from me from today uh, for today. And uh, we shall catch you soon. Until such time, take care. I'll see you later.